Hey there guys, welcome back to Let's Play Arthur and Uncle the Mill with Lamia. In our last episode, we defeated Nier, finally. Huzzah! But unfortunately, that can cost a life for Shirelia. Boo. And not to mention, since all the functionality of the tower is off, that means Raven Tails can't use saw magic anymore. Yay. Well, well anyway. Well, whatever. Anyway, in our, in, well, at the end of the episode, everyone went to disband and have some time to ourselves. So let's see how everyone's doing. What do you say, Misha? Right, because she said when she was trying to sing song magic, it made her feel exhausted. Oh, is, I'm assuming she's talking about that kind of is also like well, from the constant battles when you're fighting. <clears throat> All right, you just chill, Misha. All right, uh, let us go to Azarenka Park and see who's there. I want to say right off. Ah, lucky guess, lucky guess. Where is it right off? Yeah, still. I mean, I, I hate the fact that Australia is gone and we can't use song magic anymore. If it wasn't for that, I'd be, I'd be ecstatic, but it's only that one fact is just making me upset. <sighs> Whatever. Um, saw anyone else is here. What do you say, Jack? True. <laughs> uh, Forge for you, I have someone. Speaking of which, where is Orca? Um, that's. Um, wait, where's Crucia? I think she'll be at the Gather. Yeah, let's go to, to the gather. Um, yeah, that's running apart. Now, since the viruses are no more, you'll notice that the enemy gauge is gone. Since all the viruses have been exterminated, we don't have to worry about fighting. Thank God. I don't know, know if this is true. Lower with all the um, animal monsters. Or not. Well, the actual monsters I'm talking about. <laughs> we were fighting guardians in the tower. And hey, there's Crucian. Like I thought. I guess she's still thinking about the battle and the fact, the fact, the fact, the fact that we've flown past class of bass line. Right. Yeah, that's not weird. I mean, if you like it, you like it. That what makes you you. Oh. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right, we didn't see any sign of blue once you went past the last line. Well, yeah. You know. Crucian? Okay. Well, well, recreating the ship was, wasn't was really what she had. Her her, her agenda on her real her real dream was to make a ship with her own hands to fly fly past the blast line. What she did was just help recreate recreate the ship that we crash landed on. So it was like a half a dream, I guess, achieved. All right, all right, and I, well, wait, 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 wait. What about Orca? Oh, all right, whatever. I guess I'll see her tomorrow. Sorry, I overslept. <laughs> of course. You're late, sleepyhead. Sorry. He should be entitled to oversleep. He worked harder than anyone. It's no wonder he's exhausted. Thank you, Orca, for backing me up. I'm sorry for the long wait, but I didn't want to make an announcement while Liner wasn't here. What's up, Rudolph? I've decided to leave for Nemo today. Same here! Hey, hey, I'm spontaneous. Of course. Yeah, we kind of figured this, and they weren't going to stay Platina for long. Hey, I'm glad the world is peaceful and all, but I need some excitement in my life. <laughs> of course. Me too. I was stuck having to sing for most of my life. I didn't have any freedom. 
Now that I'm free, I want to travel the world with harm. That's nice. Cool. I'm going back to Firefly Alley. I learned a lot about airships. Now, Misha wouldn't sit what she said earlier. Uh, you'll see why in a minute. Now, I want to go home and make my own airship as soon as possible. Sounds great. As you know, we accomplished our mission, and I understand how you all feel. Hey, Liner. Don't be so sad. It's not like we'll never see each other again. We saved the world together. Of course. No matter what happens, we'll always be friends. Together forever. You're right. That's what friends are for. When you need help, they'll be there for you. Thank you. And what the hell? How did he get that treasure chest? Damn it. It was my pleasure. I learned a lot from this mission. I would love to return with some people from the church. Liner. Godspeed. Wait, isn't Orca supposed to be let off? I mean, she does work for the church too, considering what happened. Eh, whatever. I'll be back to collect <coughs> more technology. See you later. See you, Crusher. Take care of yourself, Liner. You too, Jack. We've been through some tough times, but it's been the best journey ever. Liner, I'll come back and see you sometime. Sure. The next time you see me, I'll be so beautiful that it'll be love at first sight. We well, are already beautiful, Misha. What are you talking so, about? Goodbye until then. All right, see you later, Misha. And when I come back, we'll go pick up some hot babes. Don't say that in front of Misha. <laughs> you were supposed to say something meaningful. <laughs> Oh, Jack. And Nora. There they go. Uh, yeah, she's like right behind you, Liner. <laughs> you just realized huh? that? Orca? I thought you were going with Radoff. Liner, you just saw him. Oh, Lord. Liner, I. I decided to live in Platina. Oh, really, now? What? <laughs> How can you do that? He's like, this is sudden. I hired Orica to be a librarian at the cathedral. Really no. Dad, do you have a problem with that? Hell no. Well, no. But Radolf and the church, will they be okay without you? Yes. Good question. I spoke with Radolf. He said that I could stay. Why are you guys not looking at each other? <laughs> I know they're 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 blushing. Oh, to be young and um young. Okay. Orca, this is gonna be great. You know, you have those feelings at a certain age. Hormones. I know. I shouldn't ruin this touching moon, should I? Whatever. <laughs> but yep, yeah, there we go. With that journey, our I'm oh, sorry, with that our journey has come to a conclusion. A real morning has come to this world. A world with nothing to be afraid of, with true peace. Yes, true peace. All right, guys, and <laughs> yeah, it's not the end. Um, depending on which choice you choose right here, will determine which end you get. Now, I I'm gonna go ahead and continue on with the story. What you need to do is you need to press, or you need to select. Was this really the way it should have been? If you chose a little happy light with the Orca, you'll be getting her normal ending. Now, I, I might just show that off, you know, without any commentary, just after this episode. It's like a good one or two minutes. Nothing not, no, nothing that big to miss. But I will show it off, though, because since you guys did choose Orca for me in this Let's Play. So we're going to choose, was this, really, was this the way it really should have been? And we have to enter Phase 3. And some hymnos I can't pronounce. I need to really get into the hymnos language. <sighs> Alright. But yes, we are starting phase three. And see the beautiful Shirelia in that picture.
So let's see what kind of phase this is going to be. The first one was about defeating quote unquote Mir with the element yes. Then defeating Mir. The second phase was about defeating the actual Mir. What is this? So what is this going to be about? I've never seen viruses like these before. Rather than going back in time to the beginning of the game. They're pouring out of the altar of apostles. What's going on here? Cut the chatter. Everyone, get ready for battle. Well, well at least my commentary is a lot better than the first episode I did in this Okay, game. let's take them out quickly. Wait, Liner, we must analyze them first. Basic and take Sophia Devon Sig Ast Ine Fedmir. I still wish I could speak him this. That will never change. Until I actually learn language. They don't match any previous samples that we've taken. The behavioral pattern and characteristics of these viruses are unknown. I don't know how this battle will go. But they're viruses, right? The first move always gets them. Lina, wait for Lady Shirelia's orders. Lady Shirelia! This is a dangerous mission, but we must do something. I'll start chanting and we'll see what happens. You two back me up. Yes, ma'am. Begin song. Auto battle like Persona. Go. Target locked. Activating attack. And that did Jack Squat. Sure. Yeah. He did more damage than the beginning of the game. What the hell? What's this? It's transparent. What's going on? I don't care what they are. Let's go. They passed right through us. Our attacks don't hurt them at all. No kidding, Liner. <laughs> Consider that that the damn virus is transparent. That means you can't hit it with baseball attacks. Ah! Oh, but that didn't happen. Lady Shirelia. Well, thank God that was a dream or nightmare. <clears throat> yes, it was a dream. Oh no, apparently it's a, it's a recurring nightmare he's been having. Yeah, how long has Shirley been gone? I've, I've actually heard them, that dreams do occur if you can keep thinking about something over and over and over again, which was does make sense if Lion is constantly having a dream about Shirelia. Because, well, well he, he did look up to Shirelia, and now she's gone. I mean, I would imagine that'd be on your mind. Anyway, hey, Orga. Nice to see you're around and happy. Well, yeah. Well, of course you look sad because you're sad, Liner. Now, the difference in this scene, well, in this scene, I should say, in this particular scene, until we gain control, or later on, whatever, a little bit later, is... Depending on which Raven Tail you chose, it would be the Raven Tail that stayed behind and the flipping between it with Liner. So we chose Misha, Misha would be the one talking to Liner. Sweet. Alright, Orga, we got a long story to tell you. Yeah. I mean, yeah, the world's peaceful and all. I mean, that's. All well and good, but shirley is gone. I mean, hell, she's the administrator of the tower. And because of that, we can't use the tower anymore. And the, yeah, there could have been a better way to solve this without sacrificing Shirelia. <sighs> right. If there was only a different way to dealing with that situation. Yeah, our whole goal was to find the tower to save Australia. She ended up sacrificing herself at the end. Of course. 
Ah, apparently Orca's been thinking about this too. So it's so, so, not, not just us. True. Liner? Wait, are you seeing? Wait, hold, hold on. Oh. Well, that dog shouldn't be in the recording. Sorry, you guys hear a dog. I forgot. Uh, uh, one of our neighbors across the street have this, like, loud, obnoxious dog. I, hopefully, he's not. You don't shut up already. Anyway. Right, like, like, like I've been saying, I don't want to think, go so far as to call it death. It's more like she's asleep. Because it did cease the tower's functionalities, but not destroy the tower. Alright, and Orca has joined the party. So it is just lying in Orca for now. As you can plainly see. Maybe we still have our levels, as you would expect. Now, let's just go talk to our father. Hey there, Dad. Slider no longer an ass towards us. <laughs> I like how he just says it so bluntly. He's like, yeah, that's nice. Dad. Listen, is there a way to bring Shoya back? Well, why are we bringing it up? Something, don't you, Dad? Play Shirley body is in the back of the, the cathedral right now. Okay, so as with Liner and Orca, the yard also thinks there's a way to bring back Shirley. So she really isn't dead. Yeah, just tell us. I mean, Liner might not be able to follow, but I'll follow. Now this is when the this is when the um, whole history of the Raven Tales start. Uh, how, how should I say this? This is when the game tells you about the different types of Raven Tales. I'll expand more on this. But yeah, the song that Shirley was singing was "It's Cute to Spend." It's not to stop this function of the t tower temporarily, but the ministry goes along with it. With the tower in this state, there's not a threat. Right. If my theory is correct, Lady Shirley is not dead yet. She should be in a condition called sleep state. Right, she's kind of in a coma. She lives in the tomb of the tower. Right, so, so because since Shirley is the administrator of the tower, she functions along with the tower. So, yeah, since, well, we should know Lady Shirley is not Ray Patel, but she's not a purely beta type like. Misha, or third generation like Orica, she's known as a Ravitale origin. Ravitale origins are Ravitales, well, were the Ravitales first, or, damn it, how do I say it? Ravitale origins are the original type of Ravitales, and they were the first three type of Ravitales. Shirelia and two others that's going to be introduced later on, or the later two arts in Longo, uh, other two arts in Longo, which I've been trying to keep my mouth shut about this entire time. Since she was created by the, she was created to be the administrator of the tower, she is the tower, and her life is maintained by it. <laughs> and the lion's like, what? Yeah, so her functions are that of the tower's functions. So since the tower is asleep, she's asleep. I don't know what's gonna happen if like the tower. I mean, I can't really imagine the tower being destroyed. If it's destroyed, I would think. Well, like I just said, it she'll die. Okay. But again, I never really imagined the tower being destroyed. It doesn't get destroyed in Layer 2 Artemis. So it's that much I will tell you about. And what thing is that, Liar? Go for a walk. That was sudden. Twelve years. Good lord. How long have you guys been at it? 
But I'm not shy, it's just so sudden. Fine, let's go to the positive. <laughs> I like how Lyra's like, why do I walk there of all places? Uh, Alright. But back to the different types of Raven Tales. There are three types of Raven Tales that have been introduced in this art tale. There's the Rancho Origin, like Liard said, and I press sideways game, not forward. Thank you. <laughs> I hate when that happens. Any anyway, there are three types of Raven Tales in, that was introduced in this game. Raven Tale Origins, which was she really is, she's the original type of Raven Tales that was created for the purpose of being the administrator of the tower. And I believe the other two Raven Tale Origins are the administrator of their respective towers as well. There are two more towers in the the planet RCL, I believe. My miss, my information might be kind of whack, but I'm just remembering from when I played the last two Artelgos. Uh, anyway, there are, there's also another Raven Tale class known as, known as, a, blah, 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 known as a third generation Raven Tale. Third generation Raven Tales are half human, half Raven Tale, and they're more human like because of that aspect. And then there are pure blooded Raven type Raven Tales. They're Raven Tales that were created from the Origins DNA, I believe. Um, Misha's the only known Beta type Raven Tale. At this point, uh, honestly, if you took her path and you were, if you took her path and you were g going through the tower, because she had to go through the tower in her path, she'll tell you that she's the last remaining Rave Tail in the the entirety of the So yeah, so that's a little backstory in the Rave Tail, the Rave Tail classification. It it does expand later on in the other two Artel Ghosts, like Artel Go Kelga. Good Lord of Mine. Gets to a point that even confuses me in terms of story. Hopefully, I can. I can brush back up by the time I do do an LP of that game. So by that logic, it means Misha's not human since she was created. I actually would think Shrill is not the human, not human either since she was created. <laughs> oh, Orga. Yeah, Pitnet wouldn't be so bad every now and then. Considering you guys haven't done that in like 12 years. Cal Clancy? You mean false? Why not? Are you that. Are you that short? Are you just remembering that bad? Right, Bishop False. Now, this would be a little bit under. I actually know. It wouldn't make sense if I wanted to eat the path. You should know. Well, whatever how the plot goes. So Kyle Clancy could take away the key to a lady Shirley's rebirth, in case she did use this man. Right, he told us that he used to be executive of the cathedral. Obviously you wouldn't know that part if you took Lisa I believe. Shirley, Kyle, and the already speak hard, the Magi. Huh. Oh wow. The essence of the world. And they were each entrusted with a hymn crystal. There's another one called a Renation. It's currently used to erect the tower. In other words, revive Australia. Alright. Right, the viral of Mir. Which is why he was so adamant in trying to revive Mir with the Orga. Forbidden with the contract of Alamia. Yep. Kyle, you are a wise, confident, and powerful man. 
Okay, so this is the reason why he had to leave Platina. He was so engrossed with the revival of Mir that that really had to kick him out. The poor laws of the country of Olympia. Yeah, she really vanished and didn't you just hear him, Leart? Hear her really? Hear her, Leart? Good lord. Yeah, but before she came back, <laughs> which was the big problem. Problem in the middle of phase two. Right. Ooh, he jumped off the tower. Good lord. I'm surprised he lived through that. Yeah, and Liara wouldn't say this if he took Misha's path. Because, well, me and Misha would be staying behind instead. Okay, so Renation is somewhere in the lower world. Well, the closest person that would probably know if Orga doesn't know is we will be Radoff. Since he is the bishop. They should. I mean, you guys are friends. I just said if you guys were going to help each other out, you guys were. They were. Right off, Couchet, Jack, and Misha. Now, <laughs> I actually, um, one thing I remember from the musical game was Let's Play. But see, in this Let's Play, he did Misha's Path. I do remember he, <laughs> when Misha stayed behind, he, Alina said the exact same thing. It was a typo. <laughs> it was a fact that I, I think it was more the fact that the game was developed with this, this remember uh, forgot to put in Orga's name instead of Misha. So it was a little awkward there, but this section makes sense. So Radoff will be a Nemo, of course. Crusade is probably in Firefly Alley. And Jack and Misha are somewhere. Lord knows. But we can't find clues in Infena. Alright. Cool, sounds like a blend. And Orca? What, what's wrong? Oh, right, your song magic. Well, don't worry about it. Yeah. I mean, do you know, see how strong a liner is? But all that freaking Cosmosphere work for nothing? Seriously, gang? <laughs> I could have skipped all that if I knew that much. <sighs> I, mean, I, I could have. Could have could have spared myself from the chains and the and the torture on the cosmospheres and the insults and injury and fatigue and all that other good stuff. <sighs> anyway, um, <laughs> enough of my complaining. We're gonna end the episode here, but next time let's play our channel of the Millie Valamia. We are going to be going to the to the lower world and listening to everyone's help once again to revive the Shirelia. Hopefully they'll agree to, to this, knowing that this may actually bring the viruses back, since Mir was sealed along with the tower. Well, we'll never know till we get there. Until then, guys, see you guys next time.